what is up guys so it's actually been a while since I have done my like more recent video um, I just kind of got like so busy but now I'm gonna start the YouTube again I want to keep doing this stuff and since um, I live in a new house now we got a ton of more acreage behind us so uh, let's go ahead and get right into the video alright guys so today um, in this video, we're gonna be doing some coon trapping. All right, so this is what you call a dog proof trap um, I Only had a couple of these and then I lost them and I'm like I went on eBay and I got like seven more of them So here's one of them um, All you have to all the raccoon or possum has to do is stick their hand in it, it has a trigger This thing goes off and it snaps them right there and it holds them in place. So today we're gonna be doing some coon trapping So this is what they look like so uh, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. All right, guys. So let's go ahead, get this bad boy cut and open. I'll show you guys how many we got in here. But yeah, um, I kind of just went on eBay, found a really good price for uh, six of them. Here they all are right here. Literally, like I bought a crap ton. So, Gonna go ahead, get this one, and uh, let's go ahead and do a little review on them. All right, guys. So here is all of the traps. Here is the little letter I got from them, PCSoutdoors.com. Definitely check them out. And uh, let's go ahead and see what these bad boys can do. Alrighty, guys. So here are all of the traps right here. We got in total seven of them. This was the one that I had for a while. And I found it and I'm like, you know what, let's just do a video on these and see if we can trap some coons. But yeah, so unfortunately, tonight we cannot go out and set them because we're actually getting a pretty heavy uh, thunderstorm coming in here. But uh, tomorrow I will definitely set them out and uh, out on the farm and uh, we actually have a, a crazy amount of raccoons. I'll show a picture right now. But yeah. It is like the population of raccoons are in, on here and in, are insane. And um, one time we were out sitting out on the deck, and one came up and was starting to eat our bird feeder stuff. So we're like, yeah, we got to get rid of these things. So that's a big problem too. So uh, I will go ahead and see you guys tomorrow, and I'll go ahead and get all of the um, coon bait that I have, all the lure, all the scent stuff, and uh, I'll go ahead and see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys. So it is the next day. Um, we got the general loaded up. We got all of our dog food traps out here. And then I'm also going to try to use the big cage trap. Um, we use this usually around the house. Um, and I'm going to put just big marshmallows in there. They seem to love that. Um, and then I also got this tuna salmon stuff. So they love fish. That's one of their uh, favorite meals. And uh, the scent really gets them going. So uh, we're going to go ahead and hop in here and go out to the farm and uh, we'll see you guys out there. Alright guys, so the first spot that we're going to go to is right up over here. Go ahead and sneak up on this road. Alright guys, so this is the chicken coop right here. I did do a video on the chickens in the winter. You guys can check that video out. Right now we're just driving on this trail. The house is right down over here. So I'm thinking we're going to set one right up here. So we're gonna set one probably either right in the dirt or in the grass right over here. Alright guys, so we just got this trap set. This is where one of them's going. Alright. So just gonna go ahead and bring it over here. The soil is pretty soft, but obviously because I was telling you guys about that rain rainstorm that we got earlier. Stick that right in there. Go ahead and usually put it right off of the grass over here. That part is too. All right, let's get the hammer. All right, guys. So we just got our first trap set, which is the dog-proof one that we got set. Um, unfortunately, one of the stakes broke that we had, but it should be fine. It's really in there. Go ahead and show you guys this right now. This is the stake that's broken, but this is not going to move at all. And we just put a bunch of marshmallows on it, and then we're going to put some uh, salmon juice onto it. But yeah, this isn't going anywhere. 
So there's a general right there. I did do a video on it in the winter, so go definitely check that out. And the chicken coop is actually right down there. And these raccoons, they take this trail and they also take this trail. And then they go down the hill down there and then the house is directly over there. So hopefully we'll get one, but I'm not sure if they'll come um, anywhere around here tonight. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and see um, how many more traps we can get set and uh, I did order a bunch of new lure on Amazon so that should be coming Monday so uh, I'll see you guys at the next trap okay guys um, as you can see we are in the middle of the property right now um, so we're gonna go ahead use about one pack for two dog traps and I'll get these guys out um, so we're gonna go right into those woods right there so we're gonna go over there and onto the food plot over there where the redneck blind is. So uh, let's go ahead and start making our way over there. All right guys, so I'm gonna set one over there, which is where that trail leads to, to the food plot. We call that the sumac plot. And then down here is a really cool tree that fell and made a little bridge. So we're gonna set one back in that corner also here so let's start off with this one right now okay guys um right now i'm thinking right here i'm gonna tie these chains around this tree and put it right here so they do walk this trail right here so let's go ahead and see all right guys so how you set these is you basically pull on this um black metal right here and then you grab the pin and you slide it over to where it meets this trigger and then it holds just like that so let's go ahead and get this set get these out of here okay. okay all right guys so I bought these little locks right here all you have to do is wrap the chain around okay you go ahead and you take the hole that's right in this little chain right here, okay? And then you loop it with the other chain, go through, go ahead, push, you lock it, and for now, this thing it ain't breaking loose. So that's one thing, you can get like a pack of like 20 on Amazon for like 13 bucks. It's really cheap. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and take this salmon stuff, and it's called pink salmon and it's literally just raw salmon with a bunch of juice and I'll go ahead and show you guys once we're done putting it in here. Alright guys, so I just put some salmon uh, meat in there. So what I do is I take a marshmallow, I rip it up, put it down in there, okay? Sometimes I just get to the point where I just stuff it right in there. Just like that. Alright. then you don't want to get to the point where uh, it snaps so boom that's all you do and that one's set right there so uh, let's go ahead and go set the one next to the food block all right guys so we just got trap number three set um went ahead tied it to a tree again with these little locks and i put a crap ton of um raw salmon in there so uh we'll go ahead and see what this traps bring us and uh Go ahead and go to the next trap. All right guys, we just got our fourth trap set. We got the steak, weight on in there. I put more salmon at the bottom and I sprinkled it with uh, salmon juice. Put marshmallows at the top and uh, let's go ahead and set our set another one. All right guys, so I had our fifth trap right now. Just gonna go, we already got that salmon stuff down in there. So now we're just gonna go ahead and take these marshmallows and uh, rip them up, put them in just like that and uh, should be good. Now, um, this is actually gonna be the last trap of the day. Um, and uh, we'll go ahead and see you guys tomorrow when we check traps in the morning. So, uh, go ahead and let you guys know if we catch any tomorrow and see you there. All right guys, so this is right in the morning and uh, we're gonna go ahead and see if we got anyone in the first trap. So, this was actually the last trap that I sent right over here on this edge of the field. Let's go ahead and see if we got one. 
This is the trap that I was least confident about, so I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't catch one. Oh, let's go. Got one. First trap. Let's go. There's this guy right here. Yeah, so I basically set this trap right at the end of this little food plot that we have. So, uh, yeah, here it is. I'll go ahead and see you guys after the dispatch. All right, guys, so we checked that other one and we got one. We just dispatched that one. Then we checked another one that we put. That was our set four. Um, we didn't have anyone in that, but we checked number three and looks like we got another one. Now, this one's way smaller than the other one, but it's still a raccoon. And, you know, what's crazy is that our chicken coop is literally 30 yards from here. So raccoons like to hide in this big uh, wood pile, so that's why we put it here. So uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and dispatch it and show you guys when we're done. All right guys, so we just finished the dispatch. I know YouTube doesn't really like this, but here's the second one that we trapped. This one is about a teenager, but still, as I said, it's still a raccoon. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. It's literally 30 yards from our chicken coop. So this thing literally could have gotten in there last night and we just prevented that. So that's what we like doing. Um, Got to keep our chickens safe, but yeah, here's the second one that we've trapped today. I'm telling you, these dog-proof traps work so good. So uh, let's go ahead and show you guys the next one. All right, guys. So we just got finished dispatching that raccoon. We just brought our Rambo bikes down here. So we're in this marsh. So this is the fourth trap, or no, the second trap that we set. Um, so yeah, it's right up in these woods, and uh, go ahead and show you if we got it. Alright guys, so uh, we just checked this trap, looks like there's nothing in it right now, um, so we'll go ahead and wait another night for this one, so uh, let's go ahead and check the next one. Alrighty guys, didn't get anything in here. Um, yeah, this one we filled it with uh, salmon, that salmon stuff, but okay. Yeah. That's it for traps, so we'll go ahead and show you guys um, the skinning process of the two that we caught. So uh, I'll go ahead and see you guys at the campfire. Alright guys, so we just finished skinning out the raccoons. Unfortunately, we can only do one because the other one that we had, um, it uh, actually froze on us pretty quickly, even though it was pretty hot. Um, it, ju it just got really stiff. That's something that I don't really want to work with. But as you can see here, we have the two raccoon tails going. It just rained now. And then we got the raccoon, one of the pelts in there. And we uh, covered it in salt so that all the fat and all the other flesh will get off. And I'll turn it into a really cool pelt. So um, that should be cool. And the tails I'll make like um, little, I'll hang little strings from them. So it should be pretty cool. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be making a bunch more just like this, and as hunting season's coming up, I'm going to be doing a crap ton of hunting videos, um, so I hope you guys have a great day. Comment, like, subscribe, I'll see you on the next one.